Georgia's medical marijuana program comes with a big caveat. Yes, while we have a law that allows you to legally possess it, um, we don't have a law that gives you the ability to be able to access it. Frustrated by the limitations, Republican lawmaker Alan Peake, who championed the state's legalization of medical cannabis in 2015, took matters into his own hands. We now have, for, uh, for all practical purposes, a distribution network <laughs> where we will funnel this product to families um, who are properly registered with the state and have the legal right to possess uh, up to 20 ounces. The cost to patients, zero. Peak foots the bill at a price tag of about $100,000 per year, allowing him to stay just inside the law since it's illegal to buy or sell cannabis oil in Georgia. Quite frankly, I don't know how the product gets here. To avoid felony drug trafficking charges, he doesn't know any of the shipping details. A package shows up about once a month at his office, where he runs one of the largest franchise restaurant businesses in the country. Peak then works with a network of registered card-holding patients and parents to move the product to various cities across Georgia. It may mean meeting at a gas station on 285 or, you know, coming to somebody's workplace or at home. I mean, it, you do what you have to do to meet up with somebody to get them the medicine that they need. Shannon Cloud's daughter, Elena, is one of the patients helped by Pete. She's 11 years old and she has Dravet syndrome and um, she has seizures, which started when she was four months old. And after trying many medications, we heard about cannabis and decided we wanted to give it a shot and see if it might help her. Cloud and her husband work with Peak to help deliver the cannabis oil to patients in Atlanta. They're grateful for his generosity, but angry that families are forced to go to great lengths to help loved ones. It shouldn't be this way. You shouldn't be meeting at a gas station or a Target parking lot to get medicine to somebody. You should be going to the place where it's produced and tested to get it dispensed to you in a, in a regulated manner. It's a battle Pete continues to fight. All we want to do is provide medicine to a family uh, who can benefit from it and see the quality of their life changed every single day. He is an unlikely medical marijuana crusader. Next up, he wants to make it legal to grow and process cannabis oil in Georgia. Ezra Kaplan, Associated Press.